Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Breath of fresh air uh, this morning. Oh boy, that uh, heat and humidity. Uh, it was stubborn for a while. Oh, geez, <laughs> boy, you're not kidding. And, and uh, to the south, though, they've had it a lot it's, worse. Yep, and it's parts of our viewing area. And it's still going on Ugh. right now. But luckily tonight, that's a transition night for everybody. So everybody gets in on these beautiful 60 degree temperatures we've got over the northern areas. A lot of 60s on the map. In fact, almost everybody aside from Waterbury and Brookfield, Topsom and even Thetford into the 60s right now because of all the clouds we've got. Still 86 in Lebanon, 85 in Springfield. It hit 90 degrees once again in Lebanon while Montpelier was sitting at 72. So another very sharp temperature gradient across the region. Throughout the day today, you can see we had all that sunshine to the south that sent temperatures way up, even the humidity hanging on, but very stubborn low level cloud cover. We have this moisture trapped at about three or 4,000 feet in the atmosphere and it's kind of keeping these clouds hanging tough across the region. We're sort of sandwiched in between two cold fronts. The first one is clearing the New England coast as we speak. High pressure builds in tomorrow and starts to eat away at this uh, stubborn low level cloud deck, especially by the afternoon. But then we've got this cold front coming in for later Thursday that could bring a renewed chance of showers and thunderstorms. So the humidity drops for everybody tonight behind the first cold front. Beautiful day Wednesday with uh, increasing afternoon sunshine for everybody. And then that reinforcing cold front on Thursday bringing even cooler and less humid weather by Friday. So pretty quiet tonight. Maybe a few areas of patchy drizzle with all the stubborn cloud cover we've got. Even tomorrow morning we'll start off with a lot of clouds across most of the region aside from maybe the St. Lawrence Valley and we'll see a slow clearing trend as a little bit drier air starts to move in from the west and the northwest. So by tomorrow evening we should see increasing sunshine and a mostly sunny finish. Now by Thursday morning here comes the cold front. It's this band of clouds with some developing showers. Could even be a couple of thunderstorms along it as it moves farther to the east but the severe potential looks very low at the moment. We'll of course keep you posted on all of that as we get a little bit closer, but behind that front, it gets even cooler with uh, lows in the 40s and 50s and daytime highs held to the low to mid 70s. So that's going to feel even more comfortable than the weather we've got out there now. So dew points also are going to stay comfy through Wednesday. Everybody gets into the 50s overnight tonight and throughout the day tomorrow. It's a nice comfortable day with a mix of sun and clouds and temps in the 70s. Humidity briefly spikes up a little bit by Thursday afternoon. Our dew points back into the mid 60s, but nothing like the oppressive levels we've been seeing over the past couple of days and then here comes that even drier push right from the northwest our dew points are largely in the 40s by Friday morning so it's going to be a very cool almost too cold to open your windows in some spots with lows in the lower 40s tonight though perfect night to get those windows open it will be a little cloudy out there but still very comfortable everybody gets down into the upper 50s to near 60 so a great night tonight tomorrow feeling that beautiful sunshine especially in the afternoon and upper 70s to near 80 for everybody around the state a little bit cooler of course in the northeast kingdom in the adirondacks great day to get out on the lake on a paddleboard or kayak not so much for sailing as there won't be much wind to kind of move things around wave heights will not be an issue because of that water temperature in the 70s and then a couple more showers and storms thursday afternoon beautiful and refreshing friday 75 degrees and then that beautiful weather pretty much lasting throughout next weekend with highs in the upper 70s to near 80 and a lot of sun Stu, alice